Hey everybody, it's Garrett over here at Corporate Fitness Works. I'm over here at the Asperia Fitness Center and today uh, we will be teaching a strictly strength formatted class. We got Scott here, um, Garrett like I said. Um, today we're gonna be doing a partner supersetted formatted workout. Um, as far as equipment that we will be utilizing, uh, we're mainly gonna be just utilizing some kettlebells. Um, if you guys have a variety of kettlebells, that is um, recommended. Um, so we kind of have a lighter pair, a uh, couple pairs of weights, moderate, and then a heavier pair. So if you guys have those accessible to you, uh, definitely go ahead and grab those. If you don't, um, you guys can just scale the reps according to what type of weights you have. So if you guys only have uh, a pair of lighter weights, you guys can stay up and do those higher rep totals uh, that we have. Uh, vice versa, if you guys only have heavier weights, you guys can kind of drop those reps a little bit uh, to make sure that you guys are accommodating and manipulating sets and reps uh, to challenge yourself accordingly. All right, um, today's workout, guys, this will be a lower body specific workout. Um, so uh, lower body work today. And then additionally, other uh, equipment we'll be utilizing, mats, and then we got one med ball, and then we got some glute bands here, some booty bands. Um, as well. All right, so get all that equipment if you guys don't have it already. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get right into our warm up. All right, so to start off, guys, we're just gonna go ahead and get um, our legs, upper body engaged here with some jumping jacks. Uh, so we'll go ahead, guys, just knock out, uh, we'll go ahead and knock out 25 reps here. All right, count your reps, uh, count your reps uh, on your own here. All right, so we'll go ahead and get after here, guys. Make sure we're coming all the way to that full extension at the top. How many reps are going to do here, Mark? Let's do 12. Total. Do 12 number total here, guys. We'll call that number four. hamstrings and hips warmed up a little Ooh, bit. Nice. All right, next up, guys, we're going to do a uh, alternating forward lunge. So lunging out into that forward lunge position and giving a little twist in, twist out. You guys can add a little side bend action as well. All right, let's go ahead. Just do 10 total reps here. If you guys need to, you can drop that back knee to the ground as you're twisting. All right, let's get that spine engaged. Kind of link up the lower body width or upper body here as well. on that upper body shoulder uh, extension here okay hitting the core a little bit as well all right so go ahead guys get in those high plank positions we're gonna go ahead and do uh, we'll just do a total of 12 reps here all right like I said pushing extending following that hand all the way to the top
right, guys, that's going to wrap up our warm up here. Okay, uh, we're going to go ahead and get right into that first superset. All right, uh, so as far as these supersets goes, guys, we're going to have two different exercises. All right, uh, so for our first two exercises, we're going to be doing an eccentric squat and then we're going to be doing kettlebell swings. So for that eccentric squat, guys, this is going to be a traditional squat with an emphasis on the eccentric portion. So here we're going to go slow on the way down, as you can see that Scott's doing, on the way up a little quicker on the ascension. Okay, so as far as time on that goes, guys, about three to five seconds is what I would say on the descent. Okay, like I said, once you hit parallel, press through those feet, go all the way up to the top. All right. Second exercise, we got kettlebell swings. All right. Here we're going to have a little bit more emphasis on the hamstrings, that posterior chain of the body. All right, so as you guys can see, this is going to be a hinging motion. All right, so a slight bend in those knees, hinging back. All right, swinging that weight up. Okay. All right, uh, those squats, uh, obviously hitting all components of that lower body. All right, a little bit more of an emphasis on the front side. All right, uh, but yeah, that's what we got, guys. Um, so partner one is going to be doing those squats. Partner two going to be doing the swings. You guys are going to hit those allotted reps. So round one, we're doing 20 swings. We're doing 12 on the squats. All right. As we go on, guys, set two and three, those sets or those reps are going to drop. Okay. So if you have those varying weights, try to progress. Okay. Try to go up in weights if you can. All right. You guys are too tired, fatigued, or you just have whatever weights you have available to you. Just stick with those weights. Okay. All right. Uh, once you guys finish your first set, Make sure you guys are taking at least 45 seconds to about a minute off, all right? Get rested, get water, okay? Once you take that time off, go ahead, get ready for that second set, all right? If you guys uh, get ahead or you fall behind, we will have the workout in our thumbnail, so make sure you guys are keeping track, looking at that if you're behind or ahead like I just said, okay? All right, whenever you guys are ready to go here, we'll get after it, set number one. Okay. Guys. Garrett mentioned, make sure you got your water bottle handy. We are going to be sweating, so make sure we're replenishing that hydration throughout the class. If you need to take a break, you grab a drink, feel free to do so. You can pause us on the video and come right back to it. I've got a sweat towel here too, just in case we get a little drippy. So make sure to yeah. grab that. If you don't have your water, maybe take a minute right now, go grab that um, so you can stay hydrated during our workout and especially afterwards, after we're done exercising. All right, awesome guys. Let's go ahead and get after it. Uh, I'm gonna start off with some squats. All right. I'm gonna start off with some squats. I got squats. Yeah, swings, 20 right. swings coming up here. Twenty for me. We're super setting, guys. So once you finish that first wow. block, we are going to switch right into the alternate, alternating exercise. So I did my kettlebell swings. I'm going straight into my eccentric squats here. Slow on the way down, quick on the way up. That is 20 reps for me, guys. Once Scott is completed with his reps, we'll start that rest time. All right, like I said, about 45 seconds to a minute. All right, make sure you guys are staying hydrated. I took my time on the eccentrics there, guys. Make sure we're doing it nice and slow. We're feeling that time under tension on our quads as we sink low into that squat position and exploding right back up. We've got a break, so grab that water if you got it. Take a sip if you're sweating already. Go ahead and wipe that sweat. We're going to take it away with our second set. All right, guys. All right, second set here. Okay, 
We are going to 10 reps on the squats, okay? Still slow on the way down. Make sure we're prioritizing quality technique, full range of motion before we go higher up in weights, all right? We got 10 reps on the squats, the swings, we're gonna be dropping to 15 total reps. Okay, so same thing there, quality technique, hinge, explode, get your reps in, swap, all right, then rest, all right? Whenever you guys are ready to go, set number two, let's get after it. That's 15 swings for me, guys. Remember, we're super setting, so we're going straight into that next exercise. I got my 15 swings in. I'm going right in for those squats here. 10 eccentric, eccentric slow squats. Once again, once you guys both finish, start that rest time. Last rep coming up slow and exploding out of that hole there. Woo. Start 10. Nice. Woo. All right, guys. One last time. About 45 seconds to a minute off, okay? If you guys are super fatigued, super tired, take a little bit more time if you need it, okay? Remember, quality technique, full range of motion, and you're not skipping reps. Okay, hit the reps, go the full range, load up properly, okay? This is our last set here for this first superset, all right? Rep-wise, we're going eight reps on the squats. We're gonna go 12 reps on the swings, okay? So load accordingly, okay? We still have two more lower body supersets to go. So plan accordingly, all right? Uh, once you guys get that rest in, we're ready to go here round three, all right? So take that rest, get after here guys. Last round, best round here for this first set. Loading up the big boys. Woo! Loading up the big boys. Alrighty guys, like I said, yeah, you got four reps. Like I said guys, whenever you're ready to go, let's get after it. 12 on the swings, eight on the squats. All right, make sure slow on the squats, all right? swings for me. We're going right into my squats here. Heavy big time weight on top. Once again, guys, take rest here, okay? Hydrate up, all right? Uh, while you guys are hydrating up, I'm gonna start to go over our second superset, okay? Uh, so next up, guys, two exercises that we're gonna be supersetting. First one being a lunge complex, okay? So for the first set, guys, we're gonna be doing forward lunges, all right? So here, big step out, okay? You guys can either alternate steps, or you can stick with that same side. We're doing eight reps per leg, okay? 16 total, all right? Second set, we're gonna be doing a reverse lunge, okay? So same type of technique, only the big difference here. So we're taking a big step back, all right, as opposed to a big step forward, all right? 
Same rep total for all three sets. We're doing eight per leg, okay? And then the final one we got here, guys, this is gonna be a side lunge, okay? So here, we're working that frontal plane, all right? Getting more of those adductors, that inner groin area working, okay? Same thing, guys, eight per way or 16 total, all right? So that's what we have as our first exercise. Second exercise that we're gonna be doing is gonna be an RDL, Romanian deadlift, one and a half rep, okay? So basically what we got here, guys, is a traditional RDL, all right? Only difference is, instead of going all the way back up on that rep, we're going halfway up, as you can see that Scott just did, back down, and then all the way back up, okay? That's gonna be one rep, all right? Uh, to start off, guys, we'll do 10 reps for the RDL one and a half reps, okay? Remember, down, halfway up, back down, then all the way up, that'll be one rep. We got 10 of those. For the lunges, like I said, we got eight per leg, okay? Starting off that first set with forward lunges. All right, same thing, guys. After you do both exercises, make sure you rest about 45 seconds to a minute, okay? All right, guys, round one here. Uh, I can start off with the lunges. Okay. All right. Grab those weights that work for you guys. Remember, we got three sets here. Plan accordingly. Take that rest. Uh, yeah, 10, good 10 here. Yeah. All right, guys, when you're ready to go, let's get it here. Once you guys finish that up, straight into that next exercise. Once again, guys, once you finish up both exercises, finish up, start your rest, 45 seconds to a minute. Don't forget to grab a drink if you need it. Take a little bit of extra rest time. You can always pause this on the video here and start that video back up when you feel comfortable again. And we're wiping our sweat. We're starting to move now, so if you're getting sweaty, grab that sweat towel. Make sure we're replenishing that lost sweat with our hydration. Woo! Looking good so far, guys. All right. Two sets left to go here in our second superset. All right, set two, we're dropping those RDL reps to eight total reps, okay? Remember, all the way down, halfway up, back down, then all the way up, okay? Keep those weights nice and tight to the body, all right? Those uh, lunges, we're keeping the same rep total, eight per leg, all right? Only difference is, instead of that forward lunge, we're doing that reverse lunge, okay? Working a little bit of stability here, a little bit more balance, Okay, big step back, keep that front knee forward slash slightly out. Okay, make sure it's not collapsing in. All right, second set, guys, whenever you are ready to go, let us get after it, all right? Second set, let's get eight this time, right? Oh, yeah, you got eight there.
starting to feel that in the hamstrings, ladies and gentlemen. Reverse lunges for our superset coming up. Uh, eight again. Per set. guys once again once you finish up that second exercise start the rest okay 45 seconds to a minute all right stay hydrated grab that sweat towel if you need it okay stay somewhat active walking around moving okay all right don't want to be stagnant for too long all right third set coming up reps on the rdls we're going to drop to six total reps okay all right six there Load up accordingly, all right? If the hammies are feeling good, all right? Stay with that same weight or go up. Okay, vice versa, if you guys are too tired, make sure to stay with that same weight. We're dropping down, okay? Full range of motion, load it up properly. Lunges, we're going side lunges here, okay? So big step to that side, hinge back, sink down into that knee, all right? We got eight per side for that one, okay? All right? Last set here for our second superset. Eight each side of the lunges, six total for the RDLs. Whenever you guys are ready, let's get it popping. As soon as you guys finish that first movement, quickly get into the next. Up that set. Grab your drink, grab your sweat towel. We're getting warm in here. We're starting to sweat, ladies and gentlemen. We gotta douse ourselves down. Alright, guys, we're on to our final lower body superset of the day here. Okay, alright. We will have one more core finisher to wrap everything up, okay? But our next superset here, guys, first movement we got, we're gonna have these calf raises off of a step, some type of deficit calf raise, okay? So front part of that foot should be on that step, back part, heel, heel area should be off of that step if you have that available to you, okay? Round one, we got 15 reps here, guys. Make sure you're slow and controlled on the way down and getting that full extension with the toes as Scott is demonstrating right now, okay? Second exercise that we're gonna be supersetting this with is gonna be fire hydrants, okay? So we're gonna be in that tabletop position, okay? And here we're abducting that leg away, as you can see here by Scott, okay? Abducting that leg away, all right? Uh, first set here, I need to double check reps, but I think we're gonna have 12 each side, Yes, that's correct. Okay, so 12 each side for the fire hydrants, 15 total with the cap raises, okay? Uh, you guys can do fire hydrants body weight, or like we said earlier, you guys can use those glute bands if you have those accessible to you, okay? All right, same thing here. Make sure you guys are resting in between, okay? But for these supersets, you guys can do about 30 
to 45 seconds of rest in between, okay? If you need more time, like we've been saying, utilize it, all right? Once you guys get that time, okay, once you feel ready to go, second set, let's get after it. Reps here will be dropping as we go along, okay? Calf raises, fire hydrants, whatever you guys are ready, let's get after set number one. We're really squeezing up on the tip of our toes here, guys. Get those calf muscles to work at the top. Feel free to use something to balance, like you see here. If you can do it freestanding, that'll be an extra challenge. Go right ahead. squeeze at the top, making those calf muscles work for it. Oh. All right, swap it out guys. All right, on those fire hydrants, get that big squeeze with those glutes. Okay, like I said, if you want that band for a little added resistance, go ahead and add it, okay? You guys have finished up all of your reps. Once again, use that rest time. Okay, here, like I said, you can shorten it up just a little bit, okay, 30 to 45 seconds, okay? But like we've been saying, if you guys need more rest, be sure to utilize it, okay? Rather you have a little bit more rest time in between and get quality reps, as opposed to uh, going quicker on the rest time, cheating those reps once you get to them, okay? Full range of motion, uh, load up properly. We got two sets left to go here, guys. Set number two, calf raises. We're going to 12 reps, okay? All right, still slow and controlled, all right? You guys can add a weight if you want to, all right? Uh, if not, body weight's cool as well, okay? Emphasis there is time under tension, okay? So stretch it out, extend at the top. Uh, fire hydrants here, we're going to 10 per leg, okay? So here guys, load it up with a band if you want to, or continue with body weight. All right, whenever you guys are ready to go here, let's get set number two going. All right, 10 per leg on the fire hydrants, 12 total on the calf raises. We're sinking down, dipping those heels, big squeeze at the top, making our calves work for it. Try and pause at the top for one or two seconds on your toes at the tip of toe there. squeeze on my last one especially number 12 I'm pinching the calves squeezing the toes holding on and relax so we're working Woo! Yes, sir. Alrighty guys, once again, as you guys wrap it up, take your rest time in between here, okay? About 30 seconds, 45 seconds, maybe a little bit more, go to a minute if you need it, okay? We got one more round left to go here of lower body work, all right? 
Fire hydrants, we're going to eight per leg, 16 total. Calf raises here, we're gonna drop to 10 total reps. Okay, so here, once again, make every rep count. Slow and controlled, get that big toe extension, okay? Go all the way to the top, all right? Uh, use something for balance if you need to, all right? The last round here, lower body work. Whenever you guys are ready, let's get after it here. Set. We're dipping the heels, big squeeze at the top, get up on those toes. Hold it for a few seconds at the top if you can, feel the calves working. Last one, number 10. I'm up on my toes, I'm holding three, two, one. Big squeeze in the calves. We're feeling that fatigue setting in there. Oh, yeah. Woo. All right, guys, last half of these supersets. Finish strong. Let's get it. guys sir good work here all right we're done with our lower body work all right you guys can kind of get those weights out of the way all right we still got a core finisher to wrap everything up all right so with your partner go ahead get across from your partner all right about a foot foot and a half away from each other okay guys all right so here we're gonna be doing what I like to call Russian twist avalanche okay so here guys one partner is gonna be performing the Russian twist okay uh, to start off first round we're gonna be doing eight reps total so we're just counting each twist as reps so right now Scott will say one two three and so on okay once you guys hit your eight reps okay other partner we're gonna be in Either that boat post position, feet off the ground, or we're gonna have heels slightly touching the ground. Okay, once he gets done, he's gonna to toss me that ball. I'm gonna perform eight Russian twists, so one, two, three, so on. Once I hit my eight reps, I'm passing it back. Uh, Scott's gonna do seven. He's gonna to toss it back, I got seven, six, six, five, five, so on until we hit one rep. Okay, once you guys finish round one, Take about 20 to 30 seconds off in between. Round two, we're starting off with seven reps. So seven, seven, six, six, and so on. And round three, we're gonna be doing starting off at six reps. So six, six, five, five, and so on, okay? Like I said, guys, take minimal time in between your sets here for this last core finisher. Push through, we got three rounds, eight reps to start, all right? Whenever you guys are ready, let's get after it. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
four. Keep holding those feet up if you can. One, Don't be afraid two, to rest those heels three. down if you need to. Let a little recovery kick in. There's my three, and you can lift those heels one, up if you have it. Two. One, two. We're almost there. Last round here. One. And one tap for me. Woo! All right. Like I said, guys, just take about 20 to 30 seconds off here in between. All right, as you guys can tell, your hip flexors are starting to feel it. So like Scott's been saying, if you guys need to, have those heels slightly touching the ground. All right, round two, our starting point is seven reps, okay? So start off seven, seven, keep descending, okay? Hit that one rep, rest once again, and then we just got one more round after that, all right? So whenever you guys are ready to go here, seven reps to start. There you go, my friend. Let's do it. Let's get it popping. One. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We're feeling One, the burn. Let those two, feet touch if you need it. Three. One, two, three. One, two. two in the books okay 20 to 30 seconds off we just got one more round left to go all right uh, we got six reps here starting point for each of you guys descend after that okay um, that's all we got guys all right so let's get it one more time whenever you guys are ready to go starting point is six reps push to the finish line ready to go, my friend? Mm -hmm. all right let's get it one two three four Five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Four is working hard. One, two, three, four. Let's go, guys. All mental from here two, on out. Let's get it. Four. We're on the home stretch. Two, three. In. Hopefully you had a good workout with your partner. All right. If you guys did, please be sure to give us some love. Give us a like. Uh, subscribe to the page, both YouTube and Facebook, if you haven't already. Uh, as always, we really appreciate you guys taking the time watching these videos. All right. Uh, be sure to tag us if you guys are doing this workout. All right. Let us know how you guys liked it. Okay. If you guys have anything specific you're looking for, please be sure to give us some feedback. Let us know. All right. That's all I got for me, Garrett, Scott. Thanks guys, we appreciate you. See you in the next video.